In this lesson, we'll take a look at new shelf tool added in Houdini 17.5 and it's a condensation effect. Before it was really difficult to create this effect, but now it's very easy to create that. So let's get started. So first make sure you open the scene called can start version 01. And you notice in the scene when you open it, I have a curved ground. This is for rendering and I have a can and I have a camera and I have an environment a light and in the environment light I have an HDR image here so make sure you load that and in the can if I go inside and if I select the can as you see I loaded the can.obj here and in the transform node I set the uniform scale to 0 0.5 because the can it was very very big so I set that to 0 0.5 and let's go up and now let's select the can and let's go to particle flutes and here you'll notice the condensation tool so let's click on that okay the time slider was at frame 45 that's why it took a little bit longer to create that so anyway so this is the autodop network and this is the fluid particles and if i go inside the can you'll notice we have some nodes here here in this node, we have the create droplet points. So before we get started on that, so let's play and see. As you see, the droplets are too big, so we can decrease the size of that by going to the transfer emission. And then in the conditions, we can control the distance threshold by decreasing this value. So I will set that to 0 0.06 and let's see. And you'll notice now the radius is too small, okay? It's pretty good, I think. We can decrease it a little bit more, 0 0.04, I think. It's okay too. So let's hit play and see. I think now the size is pretty good. Okay, so let's stop that. And let's say you want to increase the number of points on the can okay so you can select the create droplet points and here you'll notice we have the force total count i have 10 this means houdini will create 10 droplets for us okay so we can increase that for example to 20 and here you'll notice we have the attribute randomize and if i come here in the distribution you'll notice the emission will start from the frame one until 240 so i can just right click and delete the channels. I can set that to 200 if I want to make the emission stops at 200 frame. Okay, you can set any value you want. And you'll notice here we have the global scale. So if I set that, for example, 0 0.5, this will be multiplied by these values. So now the emission will stop at frame 100. So let's set that back to 1. And another thing, this node will create an attribute called emit a frame. And this will be used in the attribute fade. And here in the fade emission, in the uh, timings, you can control how long the droplets emit liquid. Okay, so you can change these values. I'm not going to change them because these values worked well for me. And let's go here in the... In this side, you see here we have some nodes, this used for the collision, okay? So this will be exported to the Autodop network. And here in the create source points, so let's click on that. As you see, this creating points on the can. And then the attribute transfer will transfer the information from this side to the this side, okay? So now let's go back. Let's set the flags there and let's go to OBJ. And let's go to Autodop Network. And here in the pop flute, you'll notice here we have the particle separation. So here you can control the resolution of the particle. And now let's go to geometry wrangle here. And if I scroll down, sorry, let's scroll up. And you'll see here we have the strength multiplier. And this will make the liquid falls faster if you decrease this value so let's leave it uh, at six and let's see what we get if we leave that at the default 
Okay, so let's take a look. And you'll notice here the liquid when it falls down, as you see the liquid is is following the surface exactly. So how I can make them to fall or leave the surface? We can just decrease the value of the strength multiplier, for example, to one, and this will make them to fall faster and leave the surface. We didn't make a ground here, so let's click on the ground and let's hide that. And now let's go back to the can and let's select the create droplet points and let's increase that to 100. So let's go back here and I want to mention that in the material palette I created two nodes for you, two materials, one is for the ground and one is for the droplet. So let's drag and drop that on the ground and the droplet on the droplet. Okay, as you see we don't see them, we need to rewind that. As you see now, really the shaders are showing very well in the viewport, as you see. Before it was really, really difficult to create this effect. And now as you see, the liquid is falling very fast. And now it should leave the surface. As you see now, they are leaving the surface and colliding with the ground. Nice. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. See you in the next lesson.